Hi, Lynn Tucker Carnivore. And I'm Jim, the Ribeye Ranger. And we wanted to tell you what happened yesterday at the Keto Chow Meetup in San Antonio where the carnivores represented. It was at the Big Z's Burger Joint mm -hmm. and a lot of parking. Plenty big, of parking. Yeah, big place. We even had a special room that, uh, that they right. arranged for us in the back. Um, we were greeted by another couple and our t-shirts kind of gave it away. His was the hardcore carnivore. Hardcore carnivore. And mine was hardcore. make eating meat great again. So of um, course. they knew they were in the right place. And then Alyssa, uh, I guess she was one of the people that kind of arranged for everything to happen, was there to greet us and take us back to the way back room, which was huge and really accommodating. I'm not sure if they put us in the back on purpose because <laughs> of the rowdy factor or I mean, what. They're, but they're fun. it was a nice, actually it was a dance hall. Okay. It was a dance hall out back. So it was pretty good, kind of fun. Well, and Dr. Barry and Nisha were at the side, close to the bar, but I don't think that had any meaning. Anyway, and they were meeting people as they were um, coming in. And uh, do you want to go yeah, over? It's well, it's pretty nice to meet the celebrities as soon as you come in the door. I know. That was pretty sweet. I know. I was so it, excited. And you know, I'm, I'm 66 years old, and I'm not a fanboy of anything. And I'm, so I'm thinking, all right, try to be cool. I couldn't be cool. Dr. Barry, it's you. <laughs> you rock. All right. I, tried, I was a little cooler than that, but that's how I felt on the inside. I don't know about you. Well, after all the celebrities I've been on TV with that, you know, okay, that was fun. I was shaking. I was so excited to meet a doctor that is doing so much good for humanity and one I've never met before that actually told me the truth. And I told him that. I said, thank you for being special. Thank you for uh, doing your research and adjusting and even apologizing to us for the mistakes you've made. That's not normal. And I've never had a doctor before that I yeah, could trust. That's not normal so, in our society. I know. Have a doctor apologize to you? And Nisha wow. was very, very sweet too. Oh, and Nisha, so, she's so gracious and sweet. And they took pictures with everybody. Everyone. Anybody who wanted to come up, they were just talking with them and they're just... Like he says, we're just guys and chicks. <laughs> no, it was really... You're a special fun. guy and a very special chick, Nurse Nisha. You are. That was good times, man. Had that a great time. And so um, then we started meeting new friends. Mm -hmm. And we were greeted by Tracy, who we met at the Carnivore Soldier. With Carnivore Soldier, just north of Boston, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, then we also met her friends, Donna and Ray. And then... Um, there was Joseph that we met too. You Joseph, I, I kind of latched on to Joseph and I'm, I'm a little embarrassed because usually I try to talk to just about everybody at the next two tables over and Joseph was just kind of riveting. He was, he was a great storyteller. He's a fun man. We're almost the same age, somewhere in there. But, but uh, he was from the Air Force, he retired. Yeah, he's retired from the Air Force and he, we, the similarities in carnivore stories are amazing. Really uh, the way his family reacted to him choosing carnivore, he lost all this weight. He reversed his type 2 diabetes, and they're still questioning his decision. So he's taking his health in his own hands. And it, anyway, it's just riveting. He was telling me about his extended family members, and, and we shared this similar story. So it was just good times. And by this time, I had kind of latched on to a lady that walked by, and she was trying to find other friends that lived close to her. And um, obviously, us being further north, it wasn't the situation. But I talked for, to her for a long time. Her name is Kathy from Texas. She was just very, very interested in, in how we started with it and with carnivore. And she had so many accomplishments of just like Joseph, mm -hmm. things that have healed and things that have healed. And I'm like going like this with my hand going, okay, you did this, you did that, you did this, you did that. Why are you not patting yourself on the back? You know, it was it was fun. We, we feel like we're outcasts when we're not. Right. We're the healthy ones. Right, well, for the record, we live about two hours north of yeah. San Antonio. So it was a little dry for us down there and that's why you know, when you meet people from San Antonio, you can't really hang out with them. Exactly. But, uh, but that was fun. But we have so many similar reactions to carnivore ourselves. Right. Everyone you know, at the table was like, my friends don't understand. We're like, our friends don't understand. Right. And then, you know, what about these little cravings? Do you ever still get some of those? Well, we get some of them, but we handle them with, and someone else tells bacon. Yeah. Yeah, well, we handled so some cravings with bacon or, or with little uh, air fried 
fat bites sometimes. They're really well, the, good, delicious. Yeah, yes, mm -hmm. and the butter bites too, right. um, that our friends think taste terrible, but for us, they taste like toffee. And yeah. you really do change your taste buds. Oh, I gotta tell you, that's right, about taste buds. Joseph told me a little quick story that a few months back, because he's been doing this for a couple of years now. He's just yeah. great success. He looks fantastic. He but he told me uh, in the middle of his carnivore journey, he saw a, just a nice one of those half chocolate cakes in the grocery store. You know, they cut half so you don't have to buy the they whole thing. Do. He thought, you know, that looks pretty good and some of my family will still eat it probably. So I'm going to give it a try. So he took, a, he said, just a sliver of it. And he said, oh man, it, it tasted good going down. But on the, once, once it got in there, it, it felt like he was eating straight sugar. He says, oh, that just didn't sit right. He says, honestly, within 20 minutes, he started feeling tingling and, and kind of felt like swelling on the inside Can of his right it that hand. Fast? Different people have different reactions, obviously, to things. But his reaction, his tell, everybody's got a tell of some kind. It wasn't his gut this time. It was a tingling in his hand that he'd had before. And he said, well, I'm going to do this experiment then. I'm throwing that whole thing out. So he got rid of all the cake. And he said, you know, within the next day, everything was back to normal. No more pains, no more joint problem. Isn't that why? But it's just strange, little, little things like that. I know. I told everybody that I tried having one slice of three ingredient. I know the place. I know they do a really healthy way of making sourdough bread. So I tried one slice and I got a headache immediately. It's like, darn. That was the, you know, vegetables. I'm sorry, Jen from Homestead Howe. <laughs> I know you love them, but I have no, no enchantment with the things. And um, for me, it was like grain crackers and um, angel hair pasta. And key lime pie. And key lime pie with grain cracker crust. Because oh. my mother told me that grain crackers were, were cookies and raisins were candy when I was growing up. So do not give me a section of grain crackers because that's a weakness I have. But vegetables, you can have them all. <laughs> and fruit, it would be wonderful to have watermelon. And yeah. Dr. Barry said berries, seasonal. I right. might have two or three blueberries because I like blueberries. Yeah, you have two it. or three or four right. or nine. But maybe, that, was, maybe. that was my well, big test yeah. was the sourdough bread. And I'm like, mm, yeah, I can't do that. Okay. But you felt it pretty quickly. Right? Yeah, and so did Joseph. Yeah. The other thing was um, we saw Donna and Ray. Mm -hmm. Ray took carnivore by storm. Yeah. Donna took longer. And she said, now I'm trying to tell my friends that are losing so much weight that you know this is the way to go and luckily she has those friends so that she can kind of show other people that this is you know right what you can do if you apply yourself so then carlos from uh the carnivore soldiers meetup who is a physical therapist and um he does as much as he can legally to help his clients to realize what we've all been saying and what we all know. And he himself has lost hundreds of pounds. It's about so, nutrition. Yeah. He used to be 250. 250, and you would never know it. No, you no. And he even says, people yeah. that see me now have no oh. idea that I was ever, you know, no. uh, heavy. Yeah, if, if you looked at him, if you saw Joseph and Carlos right. just walking down the street together, there was a couple of fit guys, you yeah. know, what's going on? They look perfect, they look great. But it's, and it's similar with us. Right. People are used to seeing carnivores, if, if weight is part of the issue, people are used to seeing you a little fuller. Yeah. They're used to seeing your full well, face. fullness equals jolly. Well, and <laughs> sometimes, yeah, well. Darn Santa Claus. <laughs> I, I have never had anxiety or depression. So I'm oh, just a happy yeah. guy generally. And if I had a martini in my hand, a cigar over here, I was doubly happy. So I was a happy guy, but I was one of those jolly looking guys that needed to lose about 45 pounds. And who knew that I, I thought 10 pounds would be really nice because, you know, you're starting to add a few things around the waist. Turns out between the visceral fat and the regular fat, it was 20 pounds. So. And she doesn't look like she could have had 20 pounds extra, but apparently she did. I know. And but it's the visceral fat that really surprises you too, I think. It, it is because we started losing pounds, right. but we couldn't see any difference in us. And then we heard Sean O'Mara right. on mm -hmm. talking about the visceral fat. Right. And we're like, oh my God, our bodies are that smart right. that they get rid of the bad fat around your organs first. I mean, yeah. are we wonderfully and beautifully made? Yeah. Yes. It is so great how the body wants to try to oh, heal and, itself. Uh, and what about just, there's a little bit of shifting gear. We're talking about nutrition. Obviously that's what this whole thing is about. Yeah. Putting the right thing in your body. 
Well, we've also learned through uh, Dr. Seafried and Jeff DeProsperous and many yes. others about the connection between <laughs> metabolism and cancer. Yes. The day before yesterday, we saw Jesse uh, Waters prime time. Well, we don't watch regular news, right. but on our YouTube feed, it came up that Jesse Waters did an interview yeah, with short Grace clips. Price. Right who is the same young girl mm -hmm. that did an interview with Dr. Ovedia about ultra-processed foods being connected to cancer because her grandfather died of cancer and she took on the research by storm and just went crazy. And Jesse went through the whole thing. He let her talk yeah. about everything. Grace Price, her documentary shows you the truth. The modern killer today is the average American diet. Fruit Loops, granola bars, frappuccinos, ketchup, bagels, chips, Coke, Capri Sun, Twinkies, muffins, Snickers, crackers, pancakes, yogurt, pizza, pasta, Pepsi, and the list goes on. It's time to wage a war against the toxic foods that have silently infiltrated our diets. And so I immediately went over to Nisha and said, please tell Dr. Barry that on his most recent short, I made reference to that. And we did a little video, on, well, we, we put that video on um, my and we your it, right. um, uh, carnivore channels. Yeah, the great thing about the, the only way we watch news yeah. is you subscribe to them on YouTube and they break it down into small interviews that you might be interested in because I'm not right. interested in 90% of it because I don't know what the hell's true. 99% so, for me, but that's okay. Right. <laughs> so anyway, we looked at that, but, but Grace's uh, documentary is called Cancer, a Foodborne Illness. That's brilliant. And it that's made it to brilliant. mainstream news. That is yeah. so cool. Between yeah. Dr. Chafee being on the cover of a magazine and um, this, and so now I go online and little you know blurbs come up for you for news to see, and it's all about how carnivore people have lost so much weight. And I mean, story after story, right. it's really neat. And right. yes, you get your trolls that go in there and go, oh, it's all crap. But that's like yeah. one out of 50. It's really, I think we're really, yeah. really doing well here as far as getting the word out. So let's see what else happened. Um, we met, uh, we saw Ben and Jennifer. Oh, yes. Benifer. Hello, Benifer. <laughs> we saw Ben and Jennifer from, um, from the Carnivore Soldier meetup last month. Right. Um, we met them there as well. And this is north of Austin. And, and we just had a great time. Obviously, we met several people, but this is how neat this community is. Yeah. They also drove two hours to San Antonio, just like we did, well, just, just like Tracy did. Just we all Dr. drove Barry and hours Asia. down there. It was great. Yeah. And and you're sitting around with other like-minded people, which is really fun. Yep. And the, and the great thing is, we had people of of every size, of every shape, and you know what the common denominator is? We're all heading the right direction. Yep. Everybody down there cares about their internal metabolic health, and I'm sure it starts there. Yeah. I mean, for, it started there for us, but I know that once people start feeling the benefits of this within two, three, four weeks of starting carnivore, once you really get serious on carnivore and you, if you're tapering into it, you know, that's one thing. But once you get going, that's where you, I think you should mark your time. It's very true. And this event was sponsored by Keto Chow. Mm -hmm. And um, Miriam and Chris were both there. Uh, Miriam went from table to table giving mm -hmm. us samples of a chocolate keto shake. It was very generous and, of them. It was yes. very nice. And, um, and yeah. their electrolyte packet, mm -hmm. which was very nice of them. Mm -hmm. We even tried their shake last night with Dr. Kiltz's ice cream recipe. We blended some of it in. Yes. And, and it just added just enough of a touch that it, it was great. It did. Just a little flavoring and we didn't, you know, you don't, you don't need the whole packet. We know well, that. Well, and I felt kind of bad because yeah. as a carnivore, we were so strict from the very beginning. I mean, it was after the first week we were in our pantry and we were in donating, our refrigerator. giving away and throwing away. Donating toasters, donating rice makers, yeah. and me having a silent memorial for some of my favorite foods. And then throwing them I, away. I had to deal with the ice cream. She couldn't even look at it. I looked at it for like That's two it. weeks and didn't eat any. And then I said, I can't throw a perfectly good half gallon of, get this, H-E-B mm. fudge brownie chocolate ice cream. Yeah, that was a tough one. I get it. Can you believe it? But I, it? I just said, just look away. I did. I'll take care of it. I, I, I thought while I was going, putting it down the drain, I thought I heard a whimper from the other <laughs> side of the kitchen. It was I'm me. not sure. 
But I also threw away a pan of brownies because it had seed oils in it. Yeah. On the box, it says vegetable oil, right? So I went, okay, that's, I'm not doing. And then at the table, Ray and Donna, Donna was talking to me about um, what you go through and, I, and your why and things. And I said, I have such a different why in that I am more concerned with what was done to our medical system what pain I have seen with other people, what suffering I have seen with other people, and what success stories I'm hearing from other people based on how we're taking back our own control. And I said to her that all those people, all those companies, every time I look at a piece of something I shouldn't eat, I see their faces laughing at me going, you're just gonna continue to be a lab rat of ours, aren't you? Instead of, this is my body, this is God's created wonderful gift, mm -hmm. and I am the captain of my ship. Yep. And that's, I guess, kind of a good positive message. We did a video on talking with strangers, and that helps too. Yeah. That and the cave art comment really, really helps. People at the table liked it too, which is, <laughs> you've never seen cave art of salads, uh, fruit, uh, grains, or starches. <laughs> It's only us hunting animals. <laughs> and I really, I did a Google search for, for <laughs> potato cave art. Didn't happen. None. No, it wasn't None. there at all. Weird. No, that was weird. Okay. But you know, this, I think what, what this all comes down to is what I learned from this is more about talking with strangers. Yeah. And that's why and I And understanding yeah. what they're going through. Right. Yeah. You have, you have to be able to relate to people and, and you know, what's funny? We can. I never met. I met three of the, three or four people yesterday that I had known once before, and everybody else I'd never met, and everybody's there for a common cause and for their own common good, for and our common good. Didn't you feel like we knew those people for so much longer oh, yeah. than just a couple of meetups? I, I felt like I might have had a couple of beers with Joseph in the past. And, <laughs> I, know. I mean, but I don't... That's why. I never met him, obviously. He lives down there. That, yeah, yeah. So crazy. we told Carnivore Soldier about Joseph. So, mm -hmm. Joseph, be prepared. Right. And um, he'd make a great interview. Yeah. So, uh, more and, friends, more, more Carnivore well, and the seeds other, planted. The other good, yeah, Carnivore seeds were planted because you also handed out uh, the cards that you made. They're yes. information resource cards. I to call Dr. Them. Barry and Nisha, too. Yeah. <laughs> Carnivore resource cards. Yes. It just starts with Lynn's. YouTube channel, but that's only because she created it. Yeah. And then the rest is all the all and of our great carnivore doctors. Exactly. So we, we hand them out to people because if you're in the checkout line somewhere and you start talking about carnivore, which you will, if you're you just will. starting carnivore now, when you have your success, you're gonna to want to tell everybody else about it. It's just gonna happen. If you found the yeah. keys to yes. the holy grail and the it holy was grail so of help. easy. Right. Like Carlos says, I, I think of this again. He was talking about his sister and saying, and how she said to him, well, so you're never going to have any of mom's cheesecake again? And, and you're not going to eat this and you're not going to eat that? And he goes, no, this is the most freeing diet or way of eating I've ever had. And he said, because I don't want to. <laughs> and she couldn't understand it. Well, they can't yes. understand it either until... You experience it. Right. Tell people just for a week. Just try it strictly for a week. The beef, butter, bacon, and eggs. And you and I, all of us know yeah. that as soon as they do that for a week, they start seeing the improvements in themselves. Yeah. Because one or two things are bound to show up in that first week. Well, for, for me, and I don't know how many other people, but for me, the first thing, the very first thing I noticed was sleep. Yes. My, oh, my sleep wonderful. was deeper and more restorative. I got more rest in one night than I had in the prior week. Yeah. Gee, well, what I mean is, is you're not restless. You, you sense a deep sleep, and when you wake up, you're ready to get up. It's just amazing. But that's one of the first things I noticed. And then maybe the seventh or eighth day, I noticed that all of a sudden I'm losing like seven pounds. And it was inflammation fluid, I guess, that goes throughout your body. So... Um, but anyway, you, you'll notice things that quickly, and we all realize that. Well, and as women, <laughs> I think a lot of us have a problem at nighttime yes, you, turning. Oh, I'm kidding. Stop. I'm sorry. 
turning our brains off because we are so multifaceted and we do so we many go. things all at one time. Here we go with the multitasking. multitasking. There we go. We can do that. You guys have to want uh, no. and focus. We have to like kids, baking, cleaning. We have to do it all, right? I'm so really good at focusing. Shut, so you have to shut our brains off and carnivore helps you do that. Yes. I mean, I go to sleep very fast. At the beginning, we went to sleep pretty early too. Yeah. It's weird. You get really what? tired because you're yeah. using a lot of energy all right. day and you feel so good that when you rest, you right. rest. And when you play, you play. You start paying attention to your body signals. I, that's, I think that's a big deal. Yeah. So but, we're wrapping it yeah. up too. We just want to let you know that Dr. Barry talked for a couple of minutes mm -hmm. uh, before he and Nisha had to leave. And just, you know, we started clapping and both Jim and I naturally pop up and start clapping with a, a standing ovation. Standing and O. There was a couple people that joined us and I'm looking around going, come on people. Yes. This man has done so much for all of us. Get up. <laughs> so we all gave I him think one. they got up out of fear. But, I know. But they got they up. Should. So that was oh, But no, he gave so a very good. inspirational uh, talk about actual courage. Yes. And that was to me that showed respect. It did. He had respect for us. Isn't that wild that we a were doctor? there we were there out of respect for him. Right. And like Lynn says, when was the last time you had a doctor act like or even pretend to respect you as a patient? Yep. So Dr. Barry. You rock. You rock. Thank you. And Nisha, thank you for being Nisha, here Nisha, thank too. you so much. And I hope you guys had a good time with your um, with your parents, Nisha's yeah. parents. And yeah. sorry about the clouds for the eclipse, but oh well. <laughs> That's how It'll it's going to be. It'll get dark. Don't That's worry. Right. <laughs> and uh, we'll see Dr. Barry and Nisha on Monday nights at 6 p.m. Central, live, of course. Yep. And um, there they have their question and answers. And like I've said in other videos, right. Listening to him say to someone who's A1C went from 11 to 5.5 or 5.4 or lower and having him say yes, work with your doctor to wean off your medications because you're no longer diabetic. Yeah. Oh, that just gets me down to my core. Yep. Yeah, exactly. I'm so happy for these people. Yeah, well, we're obviously happy to be here and we had a great time in San Antonio. Thank you to Miriam and, and, and Chris. Chris, thank you for the Keto Chow hosts. And uh, Dr. Barry and Nisha, thank you very much. Thank you all for taking the time to watch this little video, and uh, we really appreciate it. Give a thumbs up if you like it, uh, and we'll see you on the next one probably. Yeah. Thanks. Bye. Bye.